What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video and in this video I just have a bit of a quick tip for you guys and it's involving some customization that you can apply to the share sheets or share menus uh, within iOS. So uh, basically to just get started in this any share menu or share sheet that you bring up is essentially customizable uh, with the types of icons that you want to rearrange in it. So let's go into photos for example and open up the share menu. So as you can see here, this section down here with all of the app icons, um, all of these can be rearranged. As you can see, basically just the same as you would do on the home screen to move an icon. You just hold it down, and as you can see, you can move it anywhere within that row. Now you cannot move it up top. It can only be done in this bottom section here. Uh, so let's say I want uses wallpaper in place of save to files and then over here say I want Facebook to move in place of messenger like so and then basically this will then be persistent all the time now. So basically this will now be persistent so if we go out and close out of the photos app and then if we go back in and say let's do a different photo and you go back to that share menu, as you can see, your icon arrangement has been saved, and those icons will now basically permanently be uh, in that section position until you decide to change it later on. Now, we do get different share menus in different parts of the operating system. So let's, for example, say go into this document managing application, and let's say I want to share one of these files. Open up the share sheet again. And as you can see, the options are slightly different uh, with the app icons over here. And again, totally customizable. So again, let's have File Browser in place of Notes. And then let's do Save Files over here in that case. And then we go out. So we close out of the application. Go back in. And let's share that file again. And as you can see, those icons are now still within those locations that you had placed it. And then just a side note, you can also slide all the way over and hit the more icon to rearrange things from here as well. So you can grab the grab handles and move it up and down if you'd like to do there. And then of course, many of you may already know this, uh, but you also have little switch toggles to hide or unhide uh, specific options. So if you only use maybe one or two items within the menu you can turn off all of the rest uh, so it doesn't clutter up the menu for things that you don't use so that's a quick little side note there and the same thing applies for all of the third-party applications as well so if there's a bunch of third-party apps that you do not use or need in the menu you can turn them on or off straight from here so super super nice so that's basically it for this quick video i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below it's greatly appreciated Hit that thumbs up button as well. That is also greatly appreciated. And if you guys have any questions or comments or anything of such, just drop them down below and I will get back to them as soon as I can. So with that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.